What is up guys? My name is Mark Sanamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, we are here at the 2023 Psycho Nitro Blast. I have completely lost my voice, but I'm still recording because I ain't scared. But I just got done with my first qualifier in E-Truggy, and I literally, I just went out there to have fun. And you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm just gonna show you what happened. So yeah guys, I ended up winning that qual while doing backflips on the last four laps. I told Evan, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to get out ahead a little bit, do, do the first half of the race with solid laps, and then near the end of the race, I'm just going to start sending it on the leap of faith, just doing backflips every time. Last four laps, I did backflips. It was freaking awesome. I had so much fun. Seriously, just out there having fun, and then you end up winning. That's what I'm saying. Winning is a byproduct of having fun. So when you go out racing, just have some fun. All right, guys, we are here. We're going to do a little tour. I got to show you some stuff. There's a couple of really cool things going on here. One car that I've been really excited to see that I haven't seen yet in person, I'm going to show you guys. It's pretty insane. It's, it's very out of the box. Check this thing out. Check this thing out, guys. This is the new Agama buggy. Look at it. This is one without all the stuff in it. This is Tyler Jones's car. It looks so good. But the obvious difference is look at these shocks. They're like lay down shocks. They're like cantilevers. Look on here, you can see it working. It's actually pretty insane. Look at how low the center of gravity is on this thing. It's pretty sweet. This is the first time I've seen them in pictures. I've seen videos of it. I've never seen it in person. And it really is kind of mind blowing. It's completely different than anything you've ever seen. It looks so freaking cool. Look at these. These, these are essentially your shock mounts. Your shock towers are this little bottom piece. It is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. And then the wing mount. Everyone's asking about the wing mount. It's just this. It looks like just a small piece of plastic. But it's actually really, really rigid. I mean, I don't see that breaking. It does flex a little bit. But, dang. That thing is so cool. Here's, here's the nitro car without the uh, body on it. Without the engine in it. It looks so sweet. So, the shock towers are in this one. So different. So different. It looks so good. Oh, man. That's off to Agama for thinking. I, li I like it when manufacturers do this. They don't stick to their traditional stuff. They, they really go outside of the box and try new things. And I think, just in general, from a, from a physics standpoint, the fact that it's so low, the LCG of this car, I can't imagine that. It's not going to be freaking awesome, which Tyler's doing a great job with his. But man, this thing, so sick. Nemo Racing USA, guys. I'll put a link in the description below. I actually used to run for this team, and then I went back to Techno. Great, guys. But man, that car, so sick. All right, we're going to do what we do. We're going to do a little tour of all the hobby shops here. All right, guys, the first hobby shop we're going into is probably one you guys know about. It's, it's a cool one. I'm actually partners with one of them, one of the owner of it. Beach RC or Beach RC. We're gonna go to Beach RC, see what they have in here. They always have really cool, like one off tools and trinkets, things like that. And they have a lot of electronics, engines, stuff like that. We'll check it out, do a quick tour. Let's see what's in here. Look at that two beautiful big banners. They got the Beach RC American flag. The nice, what's up, man? <laughs> the nice canopy. Look at, I, I love their swag. They always have the coolest swag. Look at these hats. So these aren't just normal Beach RC hats. Look at the back. Even the, the stitching on the inside says hashtag Beach Nation. Those are pretty sweet. Wheel and Trigger, that's their podcast. I might I might be on there soon. You gotta check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. They got cool, look at this, look at this beanie. Oh, that beanie's sick. They got socks. The socks look so cool. Koozies, Protect stuff, Nitro Lux. This is their, they're the, the distributor for that fuel. Look at this. They got a special on Bad Advice. Half price. That's pretty good. Wait, what is what what, what is that? Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. So walking in. Sorry, sir. Don't want to bother the customers, but walking in. 
You got wheels on this side. You got tires on this side. Guys, my voice is going. All right, we got a whole bunch of screws. Ultimate Racing Premium Screws. Bags, guys. You know I'm a sucker for bags. I bought this already. I have a couple of those. I did a video on this toolkit. Really, really cool toolkit. I'll put a link in the eye above. They have all the cool anodizing nuts, washers. Oh, man, those look sweet. Fuel. Okay. That's this. Oh, oh. You see that, guys? You see the RC box, little box there? That, that's what I'm talking about. You know there will be a link in the description below for that thing. But... We're gonna go through here because they got some cool stuff. Look at this. I, I think I need this. This is a light for your uh, your fuel stick. I don't have one of those. Really, really cool wires up here. Different colors. A lot of guys, they, they're pretty meticulous about their color schemes, their colorways on their car, and they actually match wires with their paint scheme. I'm not quite at that level yet, but that is cool. They got different connectors. A lot of times you'll come to, actually, it's happened to me. When I went to TNR, I forgot about my connectors, but yeah, you can pick them up here and they have them all soldered up. There's one in particular that I really, really like. It is this one right here. You can just charge through a power lead or a balance plug. I love that one. I have a couple of those in my, in my pit bag. Moving on. One of my favorite wheel wrenches because it fits on monster truck tires with the, with the really, really deep offsets. Some of the other ones don't go deep enough in the offset to be able to get the wheel nut. This one does. Yeah, oh, look at that parts tray. That's a nice parts tray. You know what? I kind of need one of these. This is a drill set. Piston drill set. Assault RC is their house brand. They got a whole bunch of cool different Assault RC things. Uh, let's see what else catches my eye. You know, any of these things, I should just try. I should just try it all. Sorry, sir. Ultimate R Ultimate Racing is another brand that they carry. They're a distributor for Ultimate Racing. I have these tools that came in that, that cool tool bag down there. They got shock towers here. Look at these. I got to show you these. This is another brand I think they're going to start to carry. RC Project. Look at these guys. Look at those bladders. And apparently the color, they're color coded based on what kind of, I don't even want to say it, rebound or dampening you get. No, oh, I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't. But I don't know what that is, but that's cool. It's a little blue, uh, little blue screw there. Different uh, brake discs. So a wing button thing. I'm actually using these now. These are freaking awesome. These are the new uh, tire bands. They keep the uh, the shape. They don't stretch out too quick, and uh, they're they're cool. They have a whole bunch of different colors. Check these colors out. Oh, those pink ones. You know what? I might have to pick some of those up. And then this thing, that is freaking awesome. Check it out. Link in description below. A whole bunch of other other parts that you need: wires, fans, switches, transponders. I hope you don't come to a race like this and don't have a transponder. Oh, look at these guys. These are sick. This is a tuning driver, but look, it's carbon fiber. And then it, it does this. It lights up. You might think that's kind of weird and not necessary, but it is mega necessary, especially in these tracks where it's a little dark. Even at Indy, sometimes I can't see and I'll have to get my phone out, my phone flashlight out to see the needles. That helps so much. These are really, really cool. I might have picked one of these up too. They're distributed for S-Works, so they got a whole bunch of S-Works stuff. And then all the engines back here. Look at that Samurai box. Oh, looks so sick. The Drake, the Ungaro, Ronda Drake. But yeah, Beach RC guys, mobile hobby shop. They got everything you need when you're at the track and you forgot something. All the oils, super cool. Lucas, thank you, sir. You're the man, dude. You're welcome. MSM. <laughs> he has a channel also. I'll link his channel in the description below also. I got to keep an eye on our races. Evan is race 49 and we are on race 40. So we got a little bit more time, but I got to start getting ready soon. All right, guys, leaving Beach RC, now heading to one of my favorite mobile hobby shops, Mr. Rhino RC. Cool dude. His, his name is Ryan Hatton. He's in this trailer right here. And they also got a whole bunch of snacks. With, they also represent VP. They bring the VP stuff out. Let's check this one out. Rhino RC. This is probably the single most important part of all these hobby shops is this snack area. Oh my goodness, guys. You have no idea. As soon as I get to these races, I come up here and buy all the stuff I want because they sell out so quick. My go-tos, these these peanut butter uh, bugles, freaking amazing. Uh, my sons, oh, these are really, really sought out for. Chocolate-covered Nutter Butters. Uh, and then I'll get cookies and, of course, Rice Krispie Treats. Oh, man. Make sure if you see Rhino RC, you go in there and grab these snacks before they're all gone because they go really, really quick. There it is. Chubby Unicorn Snacks by Mary. Oh, man. Okay. We got to go. We didn't even make it in the shop yet. We're sitting here looking at snacks. We should be in there. Okay, let's go in there. All right, moving on in here. 
Rhino RC. Usually the first place I look when I walk in is I look up on the top right here because a lot of times we'll have RTRs here. He has one, he has an SCX24. But one day he had like a whole bunch of drag cars and stuff. There's another SCX24. He's got kits over here. I mean, if you break something, you could just get a new kit and get the part you need out of it and then build it later. A whole bunch of cool, oh, you can't even see that. The lighting's off, what the heck? There you go, aluminum anodized wheel nuts. God, look at this guy. Just walking in like he owns it. Actually, that is that, that is Mr. Ryan. Whole bunch of parts, whole bunch of tires. Dude, you got a line of customers in here, and you're out there. You're, you're out there playing around. I'm, I'm chasing parts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get on the track. <laughs> Sorry. Go <laughs> ahead, bud. That is Mr. Ryan. He is the owner of Ryan, Rhino RC. Yeah, they got a lot. That that area is a cool area. We're gonna go to my favorite area, my second favorite area, where they have. He has like a a consignment area or like stuff where he has like used electronics. We're gonna make our way over there and, and check out these electronics. A lot of times you'll find transponders and stuff in there for really really cheap. I'm telling my secrets with everybody in here. They're gonna probably look at it for me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh look, they got the race craft, the, the flock foil, all the different colors. Sorry, sir, I'm I'm, I'm crowding you, my bad. Uh, all the different colors here, they got orange, purple. Oh, we need to get these. I think, you know what? I'm gonna go and pick these up. I need these uh, for Evan's car. And then they got teal red. I got the teal. That's gonna go on my new car. They got a whole bunch, like you just gotta look at all the little details he has around here because he has a whole bunch of different things. I'm, oh yeah, there he's got he's got that same thing. That, those are awesome. I need to get one of those too. Ryan's gonna hook me up though. He gives me 50% off every time I come in here. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> this is actually where I bought my 10PX. He's got so much here, guys. I mean like, all these drawers have something in it. Okay, we're gonna go find the uh, the used electronics drawer real quick. As, as I was saying it, someone opened the drawer. They already knew. Here is the used electronics drawer. In here, a lot of times you'll find some good stuff, like receivers and things like that. Look, that's a good receiver. It's a solid receiver. I might actually need that. There's a transponder, two-wire transponder. Yeah, and he, he cuts good deals on this stuff. This, this is where the gold is in, in Ryan's trailer. He's got a whole bunch of stuff, but... Oh, my God, they got a couple of transponders in here. What is this, like 20 bucks? A little more. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but other than that, he's got all the servos that you would need. It's really good to be able to get the servo that you're running, but we don't have to change settings or you, you know, you got a feel for the servo yeah, already. You don't have to... A few more I need to put in there. Oh my goodness. Wait, the little, oh, that one's sick. They, they just... You want me to open it up and throw it in there? But yes, even if you come visit the race, even if you're not racing, come see Rhino and check out that bin because you can get some good stuff in there. He's got a whole bunch of Drake engines over there. It looks like combos. But the most important and coolest part of his trailer is that right there. He's got the <laughs> MSM sticker in there. That's the Wicked Weekend one. That's pretty yes, sweet. Yes. I, I got to get you the, the new one. Yeah. We got new ones already. Um, and then that's his lunch. He's got a, just a bag of pork rinds. Try one? No, I'm good, dude. Thank you, though. <laughs> but yeah, Rhino RC, guys. Dude, what, where, where are you getting all these snacks? No, I'm good, man. Thank you, though. I take care of my customers. That's, that's nice of you, bud. <laughs> but yeah, Rhino RC, guys. Cool, dude. I'll, I'll actually... I'll, I'll give you his personal phone number so you can call him anytime you need something. That's fine. <laughs> he, he's telling me his personal phone number. You know what? If he wants me to, I will put it in there. But, he, man, he gives good deals. Good good, good guy. Good place. All right. Moving on. All right, guys. Leaving Rhino RC. Now heading to probably one of the bigger presences. Presences? Does that even make sense? Probably one of the hobby shops. <laughs> How's it going, man? Probably one of the hobby shops and one of the bigger presents at these races which is Speed Demon, I was gonna say Speed Demon RC, Speed Demon Hobbies, but he's got so much out here. Look, it's like, I don't know, probably 40 by 40 area of just a whole bunch of stuff. We'll do a quick tour of this stuff. Speed Demon RC, there's the owner back there. You can kind of see him. Let's see what they got. Look at all this stuff, guys. It's, it's almost kind of overwhelming. Ogios, that's like the standard on RC traveling luggage. Uh, that's all I travel with. Look at all the tires. This is where I bought these RC Target bags. Love these bags. Love them. I love these ProTech bags too. But these RC Target bags, it's what I use. It's a tool bag and then it's got a, a section under it to put all your like other tools, hand tools, things like, things like that. All your needs here too. So what's cool about these huge races is you're never going to not have something. Because you could literally build a car from the ground up, come here with nothing, buy it all here and get a good deal on it. So, it's got start, those blue starter boxes. Actually, those are the starter boxes to run. 
um, yeah, I run those. They used they used to be made by Ofna. Ofna went under, and now someone else makes them. I guess it's just a generic company. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a whole bunch of tools, tires galore. He's got all his cleaning supplies. Look at all PT diff oil, PT oils, Protec stuff. Look at all this. And there's just a whole like this a whole bunch. Look at this. Arm reamers. I don't even use these. I probably should. Makes it makes your suspension move more freely. You got some used engines. That's actually good. If you blow an engine, you just pick up a, pick up a used one, get it, finish your race out. Look at all these cool tools. Look at that gold. I know another company that has gold tools, Protec tools, all different types of tire compounds, tire traction compounds. I'm sorry. Switches. That's another thing that you blow up at these races a lot. Are switches. A whole bunch of stuff. RC parts galore, and that's not even all. He's got all this good stuff. We won't, we won't go in there because he says he wanted to clean them up. I don't want to do them like that. But all the electronics, engines, stuff are all in there also. But I think the most amazing part about this hobby shop is all of this, all of this, he somehow gets in there. And he travels just in there. Like, it's packed to the brim. Floor to roof of just boxes. And he travels like, oh, look at these. Look at these. Actually, I probably need something like this. I need to get Evan one. He's, he doesn't have a stand right now. I know, that's sad. Oh, look. You can pick up a used Dremel. That's nice. Man, these used things. If you can find good used stuff, you can save a lot of money. Oh, <laughs> these are goody hairbands. So what people use these for are throttle return springs. That's so if your, your car, your electronics go out, it closes your throttle on your engine and your engine doesn't blow up and run away. Whole bunch of cleaning stuff. Oh, see? what I say about used stuff? Look at all these. I bet you they will cut you a major deal on these whole bunch of views. It looks like these are associated. This kind of looks like a Mugen. Ah, that's a Mugen. But, yep, used cars, used chargers. Save money, guys. Buy used, even though I don't buy used because uh, I don't like to rebuild other stuff. I like to just be brand new out of the package, as you guys probably already know. But if you need to save some money, good deals on used stuff here. And then he's got all his merch, which I know about. Why? Because I'm wearing some of his merch. Look at this dude. Carrying all those, all those connectors. It's a lot of connectors. Speed Demon Hobbies, guys. I keep messing it up. Speed Demon Hobbies. Right there. I'll put a link in the description below to their socials. Cool guys. Got a lot of stuff. Check them out when you're at these big races. The last place we haven't checked out is Nitro Pro. And there's a reason why. We're going to do a super special video on them. Because there's something really special happening over there. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Don't miss that one. That will be coming out shortly after this video. We're keeping it real with the Traxxas cars here at the MSM compound. <laughs> He's driving a TRX4M. I have the new hot rod out here. Someone else is driving this one, but there's another TRX4M here. Look at that. Race time. MSM reserved. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got to get this guy. He's about to go up. I got a pit for that dude. But, yeah, guys, we're having a great time out here. Sorry for the super long video. There's just so much here. I, I want to I want to share it with all you guys. So I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. And you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.